Here are some notes on sepsis and septic shock. First, some definitions. Sepsis is when you have infection plus dysfunction in at least two organ systems. This can be encephalopathy in the brain, ARDS in the lungs, or disseminated intravascular coagulation in the blood. Septic shock is defined as sepsis, that previous definition, plus refractory hypotension, meaning you need vasopressors, and elevated lactate, which is a uh, manifestation of hypoperfusion. The workup and management, in the first one to three hours, you want to get cultures, you want to give empiric antibiotics, and you want to resuscitate with crystalloid fluids like lactated ringers. You want to evaluate for an infection source and sequentially evaluate for organ dysfunction. To protect the organs, you want to ensure that your mean arterial pressure is at least 65, that you do low tidal volume ventilation, and that you control the patient's glucose. Prognosis, mortality predictors include sequential organ failure, at least 15% uh, per system, and uh, very, very high lactic acidosis is a bad predictor for prognosis. Late mortality is mainly nosocomial infections, and lastly, the post-ICU uh, care syndrome has uh, cognitive, emotional, and physical impairments in most people who survive septic shock.